game is called Kingdom. It is a two-player dice rolling game created by Matthew Noble. The components of this game is 40 land cards, one d20 or 20 side die, and a player chart for each player. Now, the 40 land cards are composed of 20 resource cards, which is the green ones, and 20 war cards, which are the red ones. You set up this game by distributing the player charts and placing down 10 war cards and 10 resource cards in any way you choose. You could have them all jumbled, or you could just keep them in just a few rows and just have the remaining card on the end. Each of these cards has a numerical value between 0 and 3. Like here's a couple of them. The numerical value will be in the top left corner. As well as there are also event cards in this game that has a value of 0 points that can have either positive or negative effects for you. The point of this game is to, at the end of the game, to have as the most points. You pick up cards in this by rolling the dice. The die. And each player has their own little chart to tell them what they need in order to pick up certain cards. To pick up cards you would first say how many cards you would like to go for between one and three. And then depending on what you want you check over here. Say if you want to go for two cards, you need to get a 3, 9, 11, 13, 17, or 19 on the die. Also on your player chart, you'll see some abilities. If, like here's, here they are. If your opponent rolls a 15 at any time, take one of their cards. Twice per game, you can take one random card from your opponent when they are getting a card or cards. Pretty simple abilities. But the thing you have to really pay attention to are these two things right here on your player chart. Because if you end up with eight or more war card points, that more than your resource card your resource card points you'll be deducted six points a similar thing happens with the if you have more end up with more 15 or more resource card points than you do war card points then you lose eight points an example of I'll give you an example of one of them if you had let's say you had nine war car points see these are all wars and their total value equals up to nine and for your resource cards you only had a zero that being that eight or more points of that you have higher on your war cards than your resource you will lose those six points In this game, there are 10 event cards. You must always do an event card if, it, if you are able to do it. But if you get more... Oops, wrong card. But if you get more than one event card, like so, you do the one that benefits you the most, like Advancing Army. You finish your land takeover for the day early, 
So you go on and try for another. Take another turn. Then you have Blizzard. Winter came early to trade your resources. Lose resource cards whose total value equal up to as close as possible to 4 points. Obviously, you would just choose to use your Bessing Army event if you picked up both of these at the same time. And if you use an event card or not, you place it face down with your cards with the, with the cards that you have and these will be counted as zero point cards now that the rules have been explained I will show you how the game is played with a few rounds on this side will be player one and this side will be player two and the person that goes first is the tallest player. Player one wants to try for two cards and got an 11 which is on their sheet. So they can pick up any two cards they would like. Like so. Oh look and they got him bent. Your enemy has raised your armory. Lose war cards whose total value equal as close as possible to four. But since I only have a resource of value, this doesn't do anything for me. So there we go. And when you lose a card, you just put a uh, put them back into the deck. Then it's player two turn. They will go for three cards. And they got the 14 they needed. So they are able to pick up three cards. I almost forgot. There's no time. There we go. Every single time you pick up cards, you have to replace them. But you gotta pick the player two picks up three cards. And now has two points. Then you will replace the cards that were taken like so and then the next player will go they will try for three cards like the other player did so they need a one five seven or a fifteen and they got a fifteen I'll then pick up three cards oh. and this these are actually three event cards that you, know, you can only use one of the event cards so you have to see which one benefits you the most blizzard winter came early deteriorate your resources lose resource cards to total value equal as close as possible to four that would not help you at all, but since you only have one resource card, you will only lose that one point because you only have one point on there. But it would not be a very good move to use it. Thief. You have a local thief to you hire a local thief to steal from your opponent, take away one of your opponent's cards, and add it to yours. That's not bad, but as you can see, the opponent only has ones and zeros, so not too good. Then you finish your takeover a day early, so you can take a, another war card. You can take another turn. See, that's not a bad idea. Just go and try to take another turn. So 
first. Refilling. Then take another turn. And let's try for one. And they need an even to get that. And they got a six. Which means they can pick up one card. They got swords that had a value of two. But your opponent decides to use one of the abilities. This one. Take twice per game. You can take one random card from your opponent when they are getting cards. So, he is taking that two card away from you. And you just continue in this fashion till all of these cards in these two stacks are out. And once they are out, that's when you add up your points and make sure about these if you did or did not uh, do them in order to get your points deducted or not and that is the game kingdom